Well, Chris, it's been a tough run of games recently for the Flyers. Just talk about the, the mood in the dressing room after that defeat to Leicester last week. Um, I mean, obviously, we were pretty upset. Uh, we had a good week of practice. We had a hard week of practice, and we felt like uh, we needed to execute better, um, pay attention to detail. I think that's what separates us right now from the top teams. But I'm encouraged that we'll figure it out and we'll be able to pay attention to those details and we'll be able to compete with the top teams later in the season. Where was that game against Leicester, won and lost from the night, do you feel? Honestly, probably the first, uh, the first quarter. I mean, I feel like we could have came out with better energy. I feel like we made a few defensive mistakes, which kind of, uh, kind of disrupted the rhythm. I think offensively we did a lot of good stuff. Um, we, we just didn't put the ball in a hole. I think we missed a bit of chippies. We missed some shots we usually make. And, uh, you know, they'll fall down in other games. But um, I think defensively we just made a little too many mistakes and it kind of built up throughout the game. And, you know, it disrupt, disrupted our rhythm and we couldn't really recover from there. But, um, you know, we're working on it. We're working on those mistakes in practice. Well, you've got London Lions uh, on Saturday back home this weekend. What have you been working on ahead of this game? Just uh, they, they like to hard hedge, they like to be aggressive on the defensive end. So we're just trying to play fast but keep our composure. You know, we want to be, aggr we want to be aggressive. We don't want to uh, try and be too patient out there. You know, we want to set the, set the tempo and stuff, but uh, we need to prevent mistakes if that happens. So that's what we've really been doing, is just, just playing, been playing against aggressive defense and uh, just turning up the pressure in practice. We're approaching the halfway point now in the season, just under 500, ninth in the league. But if you look at the league table, I mean, there's still a couple of wins separating ninth all the way up into into third place. So the playoff race is, is still very much wide open at this point. Yeah, I mean, there's a few top teams that are separated from the others, but then there's like from three to ten is very, very close. So every game matters. And so we still have a very good chance of making playoffs. And we still have a very good chance of making, you know, a top four, top six team, which has been our goal the whole season. So, you know, we're encouraged by that, that we just need one or two games and get our confidence up and win off a couple of games. We'll put ourselves in a good position. Just on a personal level, you've seen some extended minutes recently. You had that standout game against Worcester Wolves a couple of weeks ago. How have you kind of settled into life now in the BBL? Um, just getting used to the speed, get used to the physicality. Um, you know, there's le less room for error in the BBL. So it's just, you know, those minutes have really helped me, given me confidence, gave me used to the rhythm of the game. And, you know, there's a good, there's good individual players in NBL D1. Uh, the talent, there's talented players, but just as a, as a unit, communication and just team-wise, it's, it's a pretty big step. So that's been a, that's been a huge adjustment for me. So. And just finally, it's a big sellout crowd expected again uh, for the game this Saturday. How much of a part are they going to play? Oh, it's going to play a huge role. You know, we're, we're happy to be back in front of our fans. And when it's a sellout crowd, you know, it's just a, it's just helps with momentum. It's just a, um, it's a confident booster also, knowing that we have a crowd behind us and they're loud and stuff. So, you know, we can't wait to play in front of them. So we're excited.